Hello, hello, hello. It's Ash to the Ren Beauty. And we had a little bit of a glitch this morning. My phone did not have enough space for the video, so the video didn't upload. But I posted pictures on Facebook, so hopefully you guys saw that, and I'm going to recreate the look for you. Okay, so we are using the Jaclyn Hill Palette 2, and I'm very excited. It's a beautiful palette. And we're going to start off by using our primer. Let that rub in a bit. And we are just going to dive right in. Okay, so we're not going to use the eyelid primer this time. These colors are very pigmented as they are. And we are going to go in with some gold. Just like this. I'm going to buff it up like we usually do. Because our eyelashes that I use take up a lot of space. I hope everybody had a wonderful Mother's Day. Uh, in Ireland, we celebrate Mother's Day on a different day, so we already had it, actually. But it was still a lovely Mother's Day. And happy Mother's Day to all those of my viewers who are in America. Okay, so we're starting off with the gold. We're just going to buff it up a little bit more. Okay. And bring it over to the side here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to grab a red, believe it or not. And we are going to go in with some red. Look at how pigmented these are. I'm not using any primer. Okay. This palette is totally worth it. Everything is so pigmented. So, I'm going to buff this out just like I did with the gold. Okay, that's okay if it makes a little wing like that. We're going to make a straight line because when we make a straight line on our eyelids, it comes off as a slant when our eyes are open. So we're making a straight line. Looks like I buffed it a bit higher on one side. Just a tad. So I'll go back with the gold and just match that. Okay. It looks a little bit crazy right now, but it's going to look really pretty in the end. So I'm just going to smooth that out. Smooth that out. That side's pretty smooth. This one could use a little smoothing there. Okay. Now we're doing a match for match thing now. Every time I fix one side, then well, the other side's got to be fixed. So last time, if 
but I just want it to turn out nice for you because I did it this morning and it was so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a YV to clean up some of the excess. Fresh one at that. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go in with our highlight shade. I'm just going to highlight underneath the brows. And then we'll put a little bit in the corners just to make that color pop for us even more. And brighten our eyes okay so we've got the highlight we've got the color and I see how the gold the gold is going on a slant okay looks like it's a little less of a slant on one side you see right here I need to go over with the gold a little bit Okay, and that's fine, okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, like I always say, although it's very hard for me to resist not trying to make it exactly how I want it, the same on each side, but if it has to be that precise, people won't have any fun, so... Well, let's not get too technical. <laughs> Just put in our highlight color there. Okay. It's got a little bit of a slant to it. A little bit of a curve. I'm also tilting my head. So, you know, it, it goes how it goes. And it looks how it looks. But this is what I was doing this morning. And it went really well. So I'm hoping it recreates that same effect. Okay. Why does that not look the same? It looks the same, I guess. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and stick the palette away. Get away from that for a minute. We can always go back and do a touch-up. And I am just going to go ahead and use my MAC Sea Light Full Tinted Moisturizer. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to mix it with the Ordinary Serum Foundation 3.0Y and the Y stands for yellow because it has a yellow base and I'm going to mix a little bit of that in here okay so I'm just going to mix it with my finger like so try to wipe it off put some on here get the wipey and then we're going to get a brush and apply it to our face okay so I'm going to go ahead, put some all over my face, and we're going to go underneath the eye there, don't mind that. Looks like we need a little more. And 
that red is being slippery. As can be. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead now and we're going to buff that in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to take our moisturized. Beauty Blender and buff that in. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead with our contour sticks and we're going to use it's by Sosu, Suzanne Jackson, and we're going to use the Warm Dark. And we're just going to go around like this. Okay. Oh, and then on the side of our nose. Okay. And if you don't have um, any contour stuff, you can just use your concealer and skip the dark part altogether. And it'll still have a contouring effect. It's kind of a hack that you can do. Okay, so now we're going to take our beauty blender and we're going to, I'm going to spritz it actually with a little bit of the matte prime and fix and we're going to go ahead and just press on the dark, scoot it back towards our hairline and then we're just going to press under our cheekbone until it's blended. If we swipe, it's just going to go all in one go. Make sure to keep these moisturized, otherwise they will sap up all of your product. So we're just pressing it in, okay? And here we're going to swipe so that it goes along our nose. And now, I look like I have more paint on. We're going to go ahead and do our light shade. So this we just go up and out. Okay. Oh my gosh, some of the names of these shadow pigments in Jaclyn Hill are hilarious. Like one of them is named Twerk. <laughs> Which is so funny, but it's a really pretty color. I have no idea why they chose to name it that, though. Honestly. I don't. My generation wasn't really into twerking, so. But if you are, no judgment. So we're just going to press this. Press a little up there, too. And if it's not blending, just go ahead and blend it a little bit like that okay we're gonna leave that there I think might press it a little bit more there, that's fine and then we're gonna go under our eyes and press this in see now that we have our makeup getting put on the eyes kind of start making sense It's when your face is raw and just your skin and you're putting on the pigments, it's like, whoa. But then you start putting on your makeup and it starts coming together and you're like, wow, that's really nice. That, I like it, you know. So, I'm going to just connect some of the light and dark here. Okay, don't mind that red a little bit. All right, so now we're going to go in with our powder to kind of seal the deal, so to speak. Seal in all the work we just did. And this is a Primark powder. It works for now, but it it's, doesn't really stay on if you're using it as powder foundation. So I prefer MAC, but MAC can be a little bit pricey. So I'm using a kabuki brush 
just to apply this. Okay. And we have our lashes, so this would be a good time if you have big lashes, go ahead and put glue on them. And these are Tatty Lashes, which is T-A-T-T-Y, and they're 3D. They are amazing. And you literally turn them over like any other lash, and you take the lash band and you just paint the glue on. And a lot of lash glue paints on white and then it dries clear. So when it starts getting a little bit less white and a little closer to clear is when you want to put it on. That's when it's tacky. So we're going to set those to the side for a minute. And then we're going to pick up the other one. And I'll show you here. Got it? I'm just taking it and I'm just painting the lash glue right on the band. If it gets on some of the lashes, don't worry, it's going to dry clear anyways. And these are pretty affordable lashes and they're really nice and they're 3D and actually, supposedly, the celebrities like these lashes and Kim Kardashian and Khloe Kardashian and her mom and everybody wears these lashes. So <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. They're pretty affordable. So uh, for good lashes. So um, I was, I was excited. Um, back in the day, they were a big deal. So I am going to use this time to put on my eyeliner. Since this is kind of a dramatic look, I am going to go ahead and make a thick line. I'm going to go all the way to the corners with this, real thin in the corners. Okay. But then thick everywhere else, okay? And it's still sort of thick in the corners. Okay. It's always a little tricky making these wings. This actually has a stamp on it and you're supposed to stamp it on, but it doesn't work that well. It's the set I got doesn't work that well. Okay. This eyeliner is by Eyler. I like your eye and then lure like lure you in. I'm making this really thick. Just want to make sure I get all the way down to the lash line here. And take your time on the eyeliner, okay, because it can be a little tricky, especially if you're not used to it. But these big fat ones are great versus those liquid drippy ones. If you've used those, you know what I mean. I don't know why it doesn't look like it's on the lash line. 
Okay. That's good. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Lashes should still take a few minutes. We're going to use some mascara on the upper lash. My mascara was elusive, but I found it. And remember the trick, if you have just using your natural lashes, go over the top. Okay. Let that dry for a second so when you sweep up, you don't get dots all over your face. And then go from underneath like you normally would. And right now we're just doing a thin layer so that it blends in with our lashes. And you can always wiggle it as well. That helps to separate the lash. Okay. Now I'm going to go real quickly. Before I put the lashes on, grab my brush and we're going to go with the bronze. And it's going to be kind of a bronzy, reddy color. Underneath. Okay. I didn't do that this morning. But, oh well. Okay, I'm going to put that back so we don't do anything too crazy. And now we're going to do our lower lashes. Okay. And it's just nice sometimes to bring the color down because it kind of connects it all. I would have liked it to be more bronze, but I used the brush that had red on it so the red went around. But that can also look really cool. So. so, there we have that. I'm going to check my lashes. I also need to... Okay, excuse the laundry. I'm in the laundry room. My normal set of lash applicators are in the kitchen because I just had to help my husband fix a bike. So I'm just gonna use my fingers for this one. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna stick these babies on, pressing at the middle, outward. Okay. Once you've done it enough times with the applicator, you can do it with your hands too. It's okay. Okay. So we got the middle stuck there. We're gonna bring this up a little bit into the corner. Bring this down a little bit. Right here. I'm going to bring this down still a bit more. Just to line with my normal lash line. And that blue is going to dry clear, so don't worry about it. It kind of goes like a bluey white. 
Okay, so there are the lashes. They do not need curling, as you can see. And we are going to move on to our blush, which is Revolution Pro. And we're going to go ahead and use a peach shade. Oh, but before we do that, I always forget, partially because the one I have is cracked at the moment. Let's see, what did I do with it? Where's my... Okay, well, I guess we're going to skip it. I usually put... Um, I just had it. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. I rearranged stuff this morning. And, of course, I should just stay with putting it in the same place because then you always find it. But there is this powder that I have to get a new one of because it fell on the floor and it broke everywhere. But it is a great under the eye baking powder. So, before we do our blush, we're going to do this. Okay. We're going to put a little up there. We're going to brush the excess off of that pretty quickly, actually. And then what we're going to do is we are going to let the rest of it bake. So this part, we're going to take our kabuki brush and brush the excess off. We just wanted it to brighten a little bit. Um, but the rest is going to stay there while we do our blush. So we're going to take our peach blush. And sweep it up. I love this blush palette because there's so many colors. And two of them are shimmery. So we're going to go to the rosy shimmer. And then we're going to use the light shimmer just to bring some shine to the apples of our cheeks. Okay. Now, really quickly, we are going to use our Glow Up palette. And we are going to go across the tops after we brush the excess off we're going to go across the tops of everywhere that the sun would naturally hit okay so we've brushed the excess off now and now we're going to go and highlight where the sun would normally hit above our cheekbone. Okay. And do it on our nose. And on our chin. And then I have a brand new contour brush. So we're going to use the contour color. And just put some contour right there. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender on the other side because I don't want a very harsh contour. So we can just go like this and fade it down a little bit. And it'll be more like the other side. Okay, so now all we have left is our lipstick. And the hair. So, we're almost done. So I'm going to go ahead and use Lip Primer by MAC. And I'm going to go in
Okay. I'm going with our red. See? It all kind of comes together now. Okay? So that is the end of the makeup portion. And I am just going to get my brush, unclip my hair, and show you a kind of final look. So I'm just going to take my hair, stick it behind my ear, take this side, stick it behind my ear. Okay, and that is our look for today. So red lips and red and golden eyes. Okay. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, I'm Ashley Loren from Ashley Loren Beauty and I hope you had a happy Mother's Day and that you continue watching my channel. Please like, subscribe and comment if you like. Thank you so much and have a great day.